Jonathan Green, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! 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 What a house. Thank you very much for coming out, seeing all these friendly faces. I do appreciate it. I am Matt Knutson. I am your host slash new best friend. <laughs> Happy to be here. Things are going well. Uh, in addition to, uh, to hosting Acme Saturday Night, the wife and I just got a new Tempur-Pedic mattress <laughs> recently. <laughs> because uh, she likes to drink wine in bed. <laughs> And I love to jump up and down. <laughs> so I got that going for me, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I uh, do travel around a lot, doing comedy, performing for good people like you. I uh, recently flew back from Greenville, South Carolina. And, uh, and folks, you know you're in a small town airport when there's an announcement on the PA system that says, Ron, come here. <laughs> Yeah. One time I was doing a show, a woman came up to me afterwards, she says, you know, I could never do comedy. Uh, aren't you worried that someone's going to throw rotten tomatoes at you? Uh, to which I said, not really, because I don't perform in 20s vaudeville. So, <laughs> it's a non-issue, basically. But I would advise you, if you ever thought of doing comedy, and someone tomatoes you at a show, don't worry about it, right? Because if someone brings tomatoes to a club, <laughs> and has them at the ready, you're probably dealing with a pretty picky person, right? <laughs> I, however, would be devastated if I was tomatoed an hour after my show. Because <laughs> that person went to the store. <laughs> They came back to find me. Where's that Tempur-Pedic guy? <laughs> Not very funny. Ah, uh, but we've been working hard. Hey, hey Kirk Dietrich, everyone. Hey. Kirk Dietrich. Hey. Yes. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, how's it going, man? Good, good, good. This guy was cracking us up backstage with uh, this uh, musical improv stuff that he does with his uh, guitar. Just guitar and brain cells. It's uh, awesome. It's funny. We should probably so get the show started. They don't so want to see that. We, 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 don't normally do this. What I'm able to do is I, uh, I'll get a couple suggestions from the audience and I will incorporate your information into a uh, famous pop song from the 60s. All right, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, sir, what is your name? Patrick. Patrick, and where were you born, Patrick? Whittier. Patrick was born in Whittier. Okay, we'll lock that in, Patrick from Whittier. Ma'am, your name? Amber. Amber, and where did you go to high school, Amber? Center Grove, that's funny. I don't know anyone who went there. <laughs> Great. Ah, uh, and sir, with the, with the hat, what, what's your name? Robert. Okay, Robert, and where did you buy that sweater? Uh, Silver <laughs> Never been to that store, but it sounds great. <laughs> okay, so we'll see how much of this we can fold into um, the boxer. I am just a poor boy, though my story seldom told. Right? <laughs> I've squandered my resistance for a pocket full of mumbles. Busted. <laughs> Such a problem. All eyes in chest. <laughs> Till the man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Lie, 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 Thank you guys so much. We have a great show. Don't go anywhere. Just sit
Uh, the bathroom's... Matt Knudsen is terrible company. You're watching Fort Worth Public Access. It ain't redneck unless we say it is. And now it's time for the Hollywood Redneck Review with your hosts, Earl and Kenny Westbrook. casinos in Oklahoma, so I bought my, my best fishing buddy, Billy Ray. What's up, y'all? Hey. <laughs> right? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, you ever been in one of them there Indian casinos? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're all right. I don't like having to go into Oklahoma to do it, though. No. Hell no. Hell no. Hey, you know why uh, Texas doesn't fall into the Gulf of Mexico? I do not know why. Because Oklahoma sucks. Oh, suck it, Oki. Our stage, our stage manager, Paul's an Oki. <laughs> Take that, you dango Oki. Oh, hey. Hey, how hey, you doing, Paul? <laughs> that hurt my head. <laughs> Stole your beer, too. Yeah, All right. Son of a bitch. As always. We are going to review some movies and take a look at what's on my daughter's iPod. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Damn, damn. You know, I'm not a big fan of the iPod. I'm more of an 8-track cassette man myself. <laughs> are you? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hell, son. The 70s called. They want their machine back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, right? Ouch, man. Well, hey, guess what? Uh, 2010 called. Oh, yeah? Yep. They want you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Face on you. Well, that's kind of hurtful, and, you know. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just get so wrapped up in my eight track. I'm, that, I'm that, gonna have to get that is my bad. Yeah. My bad. It's okay. okay. All it's right. Okay. Let's get started. The first movie we're gonna review uh, is uh, called Tooth Fairy. I got a clip. Here we go. It's about to receive. Mr. Tosser, you sir are guilty of killing dreams. The ultimate penalty. You are hereby ordered to serve time as a tooth fairy. Well. Damn, that looks dumb as hell. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I'm not gonna watch a movie that has the word fairy in it. Not how about how about uh, fairy tales on Route 12? Okay, now I said a movie, not a titty bar. Titty bar. I'm right, gonna watch right. the shit out of that. Boobies and beer. Watch out now. Ah, uh, adore nudity. <laughs> mm. All right, next movie we're gonna review is uh, called Cop Out. I couldn't find a clip, but I found a poster. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that looks good as hell! <laughs> How do you know about that, man? You just saw the poster. It's got Bruce Willis in it, son. You know it's a Die Hard movie. Yeah, good point, man. I love those Die Hard movies. Especially like when they like get the mission and then he takes his sunglasses off and then they explode. That's mission, Well, son, I think you're mixing that up with the Mission Impossibles with the Tom Cruises. Really? Yeah. I drink a lot. Me too. Cheers. Cheers. Here's the here. Here's the here. All right, next movie up is uh, I got a clip from Legion. Or a poster. Poster. Mmm. Damn, that was scary as hell. <laughs> He's got a knife and an ooze. That's I would not, crazy. Bro. I would not mess with that angel. No, that's like Chuck Norris of angels. That's, that's right. right. I like that. I think they should do a show called The Walker Texas Angel Ranger. That's, I like it too. Some variation. Of it's that. all over the place, but it's got Chuck Norris in it. I'm in. Fuck yeah. All right. Let's take a look at what's on this here iPod. God help us. It says here, uh, Lady Gaga, uh, bad romance. Dude, my ears hate you right now. Yeah, they should change that, uh, change her name to Lady Crap Crap. <laughs> Boom. They just did. <laughs> Lady no good at music. Yeah, how about that? That was just You got crap. a George Strait? I mean, come on. Do, you, do I have any George Strait? Josh, put my song on, son. Yeah, that's all the time we have. Check us out next week when we're and take a, take a look at the iPod thing with you. 
Let's go to the tent. Oh, I'm taking these beers. Hi, I'm Leif Ganford. I'm one of the company members here at Acme. I also direct, do the news once in a while. In my personal life, I'm the father of a four-year-old daughter. I'm also in Mensa, the High IQ Society. Anyway, I really wanted to mention that I'm in Mensa. with the extra phlegm. Oh. Phlegm? Uh, I'm sorry, what is uh, phlegm? You mean flan. Oh, no. Is that what you mean? No, signore. A flan is a Mexican. A phlegm is Italian. See? So it's like a little something extra in the sauce. Uh, like a spice? <laughs> no, I cannot reveal a secret from Italy. <laughs> no, Kenzo. Don't be so nosy. I'm sure whatever it is, you'll love it. This place has a B rating. I'll have the <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess it's just that, you know, from the way you're talking, it sounds like you're saying phlegm. A phlegm, see? Si. Ah, very good. Arrivederci. That means uh, goodbye in Italian. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Doesn't it sound like he's saying phlegm? Well, he has a really thick accent. Well, I would hardly call that an authentic Italian accent. Can we please just have a genuine cultural experience without you judging everything? Ciao! For the lady, oh. the antipasta, and for signore, the calamari with extra flan. Looks delicious. See, Thank I'm sorry, you. What, is, what is all that? What is that, uh, that liquid on there? <laughs> that is a flan. <laughs> Why is it all, uh, is it supposed to be green like that and like oh. chunky and stuff? What is that? Sometimes it's a green, sometimes it's a white, sometimes <laughs> it's a chunky. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on who makes it. Dig in before it gets cold. See, um, I don't know. Uh, oh, mama! <laughs> oh, this is my mama. She wants to come and look at your face and eat the, the calamari with her phlegm. Oh, she's so nice. Hi, mama. Your phlegm, it looks delicious. How do you make it? Oh, mama, mama no speak. She has a something caught in her throat and she make it the best phlegm. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that's great. I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't eat this. Okay, you're embarrassing me. Why well, are you not eating the flesh? I just can't. You make a mama cry! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why well, you break a mama's heart? <laughs> eating the flesh! It's like a punch your mama in the face. No, you don't eat the flesh. and then it looks like... Eating the flesh! I'm eating the flesh. I'm eating the flesh. He's eating the flesh!
Richard. Ah, hello, young man. Please, please do come in and sit down. May I offer you an Earl Grey or some Snapple? <laughs> I do appreciate you visiting, young man, but as you can see, it is the peak of the social season, and the invitations continue to pour in. Uh, would you mind if I just kept up as best I can? <gasps> Our dear Richard Wellington III, please do us the honor. A very select group. Ah, very sweet, but I have a previous arrangement. <laughs> but like my dear sweet mother always used to say, a tactful note of decline brings the offer back next time. <laughs> <laughs> dear Discover Card, <laughs> thank you ever so much for your generous offer. <laughs> Although I appreciate my pre-approved status, and your enticing balance transfer offer, I will be unable to join your Platinum Plus Club at this time. Please keep me in mind if by chance this rare offer should become available again in the future. Sincerely, Richard Wellington III. Oh. I do hate to turn down anyone's invitation. But you can't dilute your social standing by joining all the clubs. <laughs> I could use that free duffel bag, though. <laughs> ah, but alas, no time for such things. Must move on, must move on. Ah, here we are, dear Richard Wellington III. Please be our guest on the 30th. Mm, I'm afraid the 30th won't do. I'm attending a little soiree at the Los Angeles Convention Center. I'm just saying. But like my dear sweet mother always used to say, be like me, RSVP. <laughs> dear Toyota of Van Nuys, <laughs> it is with a heavy heart that I must decline the invitation to your sailathon next weekend. <laughs> Sadly, my dance card is ever so full. Do eat a jumbo hot dog for me, and keep me abreast of future blowout events. <laughs> Sincerely, Richard Wellington the. Oh, I hate to turn down Toyota Van Nuys. They always have the best coffee. <laughs> they really do. Oh, excuse me. Hello, Richard Wellington III. Oh, hello, Stanley. <laughs> you old devil, you. Yeah. I guess. Uh-huh. And that's to clean both the carpets and the drapes, correct? I'm... I'm sorry, young man. I have to take this. <laughs> but please, go ahead and see yourself out, and, and promise you'll send me directions to your Church of Latter-day Saints, will you? <laughs> 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 Terrible company. Hey, Matt! Matt! What? What are you doing? I'm practicing screaming. Matt! 
Matt Knudsen is terrible company. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Hawthorne. <laughs> Patrick. I'm here with Danica Patrick, who just completed her second NASCAR race. Let's talk about that. Your NASCAR debut a couple months ago in Daytona ended in a 12-car pileup. What do you think worked differently this time? What worked better? Um, yeah, uh, this time I didn't crash. <laughs> Steve, you have been on an incredible roll here tonight. In fact, you even guessed the exact height of Kilimanjaro. I mean, come on. Yeah, I knew that. Let's go. All right. From the top there. Yeah. Now, you've just risked it all for this one final question worth $1 million. Yeah. 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 Now, remember, if you get this wrong, you leave with nothing. I know. I got you, it. You got this one, honey. Yeah. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. Okay. You ready? Right. Yes. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is easy. This is really? It's really easy. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get this. Is that I, easy? I, I really feel good about this. Okay. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. All right. All right, here we go. For one right. million dollars. Yes. Steve. Uh-huh. What is the date okay. of your wife's birthday? We're gonna be millionaires! We're gonna be millionaires! <laughs> what is the date of your wife's birthday? <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. That's <laughs> that's that's an easy one. All right. Well, anytime you're ready, just answer it. Yeah, I know. It's just yeah. uh, you know, it seems a little odd that you'd have a personal question. Just a million dollar question. I uh, I don't write them. I just read them off the card. Just that's do it, honey. Make us filthy rich. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. 
Sorry, what was the question again? Uh, the question again is, what is the date of your wife's birthday? Come on, okay. let's, uh, <laughs> all right. Honey, Anytime. Why, why, why are you waiting so long? I'm just, you know, hey, enjoying the moment. What, you need me to repeat the question no, again? No, 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 I got it, I got it, I, got it. I know what the question is. I got it, I got it. Um, then say the answer. I'm going to, honey, sweetie, you know, I just, okay, look, hey, um, we're gonna be rich in a few mm -hmm. seconds. And right now we're not. So I just want to, you know, kind of revel in this moment of us not being rich, because that's good too. You know, yeah. not being rich, that, that's good too. No, so. no, I want right. to be rich right now. So yeah. tell us the answer. Rich now. Okay, no, no, no. Right. in a few seconds, all right? It may be like, you know, 15, 16, 17. I'm sorry, what are you doing? 18, with, no, 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 no. Let's... Sweetheart, you know my birthday. Of course I know it, all right? You know. I mean, come on, like, hey. Your birthday this last year, I got you that great present, right? You remember that, you remember? The great present I got you, right? Yes. And it made you happy. Right, all right, what is it? What's what? The date. I did, I, I got the question, okay? Oh, um, come on. Come on. Oh no, did we run out of time? Oh, 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 oh no, man. actually you have all the time you need. Just, Answer let's, let's the man. Up. Really? Answer him. I'm going to! Just, there's a lot of pressure up here, okay? Pressure? Pressure? You were able to answer the date that Germany invaded Poland, okay? And you can't remember my birthday? I remember it. I'm just having a little trouble remembering it right now. And the reason I remember that day is because I studied that stuff for this show! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, there is no pressure here. There's no pressure, there's no studying, there's nothing. All right, just no, 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 no. I think you better answer the question before your wife explodes. Yeah, I know. She's quite the Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer. <laughs> Let's give us the date. Okay, me. All right. Come on. August 15th. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Steve. That is not the correct answer. I'm afraid you don't win the million dollars. And Wow, I can't believe that just happened. I uh, honestly i am surprised by that. That's our Expect anniversary, idiot. Ooh. Is it really? Friends, the Bible tells us that hell awaits those who stray from the Lord. Satan is ready to pound you with fire and brimstone. And the only good place for fire and brimstone is Reverend Dale's Barbecue Grill Emporium. Come out and check our fine collection of gas grills, electric grills, charcoal grills. We got the smokers. We even got the side burners. And we got the brand and iron to mark your meat. We're open six days a week, not Sundays, you sinners. Because if Jesus were alive today, he would shop at Reverend Dale's Barbecue Grill Emporium. <laughs> Reverend Dale's Barbecue Emporium, welcome between the Dairy Queen and the Piggly Wiggly. Reverend Dale's claim that Jesus would use his grills just in opinion, legally has no authorization to make that claim. <laughs> Well, your uh, research assistant application looks in order. I'm actually just waiting for another uh, applicant to come, and then I'll okay. explain the job to both of you at the same time. Oh, that's him now. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I was chased by a stray dog. It bit me. Oh, oh, oh my god. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I bit him back. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, not a problem. We're just getting started, actually. Okay. Uh, this is Joanne Strickland. She's another one of the fellows that's up for the assistant job in my lab. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Joanne. You seem very nice. You smell like pumpkins. <laughs> my name is Steve, a Steve Henchman. <laughs> All right, why don't we get started? Um, let's see, uh, why don't you uh, start by telling me a little bit about yourself? Okay, ladies first. Thank you. I have a PhD, and my dissertation was on the origin and effect of spike-dependent inhibition in the tiger salamander involuntary response complex. Wow. Excellent, uh, and you, Steve? Um, well, I know my way around the graveyard, and I'm, I'm good with a pickaxe and a shovel. Excellent. You are you are both making this a tough decision. Mm. What? Uh, now uh, there's going to be long hours in the lab. We work uh, pretty long into the night. Is that going to be a problem? Or? Working with Dr. Albert in the lab, I'm used to burning the midnight oil. Yes, I've also burned the midnight oil with my previous boss. Only the oil was fat that I had rendered from deceased corpses. <laughs> that's 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 great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, are you serious? Well, of course, it's it's admirable that Steve recycles. Recy he's, yeah, and he, he's uh, he's diminishing his own carbon footprint and that of others mm -hmm. by recycling dead bodies. Well, it's it's thinking outside the box oh. or the coffin. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good job. Um, could you please use three words to describe yourself? Yes, intelligent, diligent, and inquisitive. Um, loyal. Discreet and crippled. <laughs> Those are nice choices. Thank you. Okay, it's really, seriously, crippled? How is crippled a nice choice? Uh, do you have a problem with uh, people who are differently able? No, mm -hmm. don't be ridiculous. I just don't think it's relevant. All right. Well, uh, what's the next question? Uh, what project have you worked on in the past that would prepare you for work in my lab? In my work with Dr. Albert, we isolated the brain chemistry mechanisms of high-fat diet-induced obesity in mammals. Oh. Uh, my former employee and I um, attached the head of a goat onto a chicken. <laughs> okay, what the hell? Why the hell? Why, 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 why would you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> because it's horrible. Did you even go to college? Well, he can graft the head of a goat onto a chicken. I think that's actually a moot point. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's illegal, though. Well, ethics, well okay. regardless, I think, I think I've made my decision. Steve, welcome to the team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really, I'm going to really oh, okay, you you're, gonna take, you're, you're taking the slow-witted hunchback over the honors neuroscience graduate. I'm afraid so. And can I just ask why? He's a man. Yeah! <laughs> Friends, the Bible tells us the Lord cannot stand a lazy man. Proverbs 12, 24 states, work hard and become a leader. Be lazy and never succeed. And we all know the only place you should ever be lazy is on your patio. Come on down to Reverend Dale's Patio Furniture Superstore. We got the chase lounges, got the rocking chairs, and we even got the Adirondacks. Check out the bistro table, the picnic tables, and the fire pit tables for roasting marshmallows. We're open six days a week, not Sundays, you sinner. Because if Jesus were alive today, he shop at Reverend Dale's Patio Furniture Superstore. Reverend Dale's Patio Furniture Store. Look next to the Reverend Dale's Reverend Dale's Patio Furniture Store. It's a Reverend Dale's Reverend Dale's Reverend Dale's I do. I do. Son! Mom, Dad? <laughs> Check out my report card. Oh. 
Yup. All A's. Jesus Christ! God damn it! <laughs> I, I thought you guys would be proud of me. Does it look like we're proud of you? So what, are you some kind of genius now? No, no, no I, I'm just on the honor roll. Oh, and, and they gave me this uh, bumper sticker. Oh, oh no. no. Oh my God! No. Oh my God, I have to put this on my car! No. Everybody is gonna see it! Oh, this is the whole neighborhood <laughs> is gonna see it! Yeah, well I gotta keep up the lawn now! For God forbid the smart kid lives at the house of the shitty lawn! Oh my God, what are, what are you guys talking about? Don't you get it? We actually have to attend those PTA meetings now! Oh God. Where's my purse? Where's my purse? Cause I gotta go to CVS and buy pantyhose! Well while you're out, while you're out honey, you might as well pick up a violin here for Yo-Yo Ma, cause you know that comes next! God damn it! I, I don't want to play the violin! Oh, but they go hand in hand! Okay, I, I, I don't understand. I thought getting straight A's was a good thing. Don't you understand the amount of pressure you are putting your parents under? I mean, exactly. I mean, don't you? you we have to take an interest now in what he likes to do. Yes. I hate the violin! I said I don't want to play the violin. Besides, I got asked to be on the academic decathlon team. Oh, is that like a smarty what sport? What is that? Fuck! I don't know. <laughs> that is just great. Now I've got to clean up the house because a, a team's coming over. A whole team! Why bother? Because they're just going to track in the dirt with their smart little feet. Oh, smart feet! I, I, I thought you guys would, would be, you know, you wanted me to do well. No, well. No, 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 no. No, no. We imported you to be average. Yes. <laughs> In, in order? Yes. Uh-huh. Well, I, I think you mean implore. Oh, uh, my God. Here it comes. It's already started. He's using the big words. Big, While you're at the CVS, big. get a dictionary. Hope they I have need them. help. I need help. I hope they have them. You guys don't have to do anything. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> you being smart is a reflection on the whole family, okay? Now there's expectations. Expectations! Oh, God. God, look, see what you did to your mother? Get that away from me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm Honey, sorry. it's okay. I'm it's so, okay. I'm no. sorry. I'm so smart. When we saw you at the orphanage, yes. our hearts went out to you. You. And you stabbed our hearts with your intelligence. Look, look what you've done to your mother! It's all right, baby. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> Look, if it helps, I failed my driving test. <laughs> Knudsen is terrible company. Oh my god, you shot Miss Stevens. It's so weird. Just talked to her yesterday. Matt Knudsen is terrible company. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Acme News. I am Dan Kane. Our top story tonight, Sarah Palin is reportedly working with a well-known producer to pitch a new reality TV show. Why? She's already living one. And we're all in it. Apparently, Palin was in New York and L.A. this week meeting with CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox, A&E, and the History Channel. Noticeably missing from the list, Cartoon Network. That's adorable. And there's more Palin news, because you asked and we listened. At a recent Oscar giveaway benefit, Sarah and her entourage were reportedly to have swept through the, swept through the place like locusts, taking all sorts of Oscar swag and freebies. I think that's her in her getaway car. 
Here to talk about her most recent freebie binge is Sarah Palin herself. Sarah? Thank you, Dan. Good to see you. Well, nice to see you, uh, Sarah. Uh, welcome to Acme Saturday Night. You know, I'm actually a little surprised that you're here since we've been giving you kind of a hard time lately and, well, we just showed your face as a cartoon. Oh, come on now, Dan. You know how much I love Saturday Night Live and being in New York. Right. Um, it, it looks like you're in front of uh, Grauman's Chinese Theater. Oh, yes. Hollywood Boulevard is one of my favorite New York attractions. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, so are those some of the items that you managed to accumulate at the recent Oscar giveaway? You betcha. And my daughter Willow got a new hairdo and we got all sorts of goodies, like watches by Skagen and jewelry from Pascal Mood. Uh, I, I think that's pronounced Pascal Mawad. Mm-hmm, maybe. But at the risk of sounding un-American, I have exercised my first fright. I, that, that you're done, huh? Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how that relates, but let's get back to the Oscar swag. It was reported that you would be donating all that stuff to the Haitian Relief Fund. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was everyone's understanding that the true American way that the Oscar bags are uh, for keepers. Keepers, yeah. Uh, does that mean that you'll be uh, keeping everything, including your daughter's new haircut? You betcha. But then leave the children out of it. <laughs> Somehow I saw that coming. Now, you were just on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and you mentioned that you'd be joining the Fox News Network. Yes, because the mainstream liberal media and I is, is or the mainstream uh, media is broken, and I have a degree in journalism, and I'm a former governor, oil and gas regulator, high school athlete, and I'm the mother of a special needs child. So, uh, the mainstream media is broken, as you say. Uh, why would you go on the Leno Show? Because that's pretty much mainstream media. In what respect, Dan? Um, pretty much just the way I said it. It's mainstream liberal media. Mm -hmm. Yes, but when Leno speaks, it's satire. And when Rahm Emanuel speaks, it's just retarded. Oh. Oh, uh, oh no, no, no. I, uh, retarded. I didn't mean. <laughs> Sarah Palin, everybody. Always fun to have her stop by. Appearing on Oprah this week, Jessica Simpson discussed the controversial interview that her ex-boyfriend John Mayer conducted with Playboy last month. Simpson said she was disappointed in Mayer's comments and will not forgive him. Here to respond while on his new tour is John Mayer. John. Jo uh, John, can, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm just updating my Twitter. Uh, Okay, but, uh, you know, we're live here. Hmm? Yeah, I'm just twitter jizing Jessica. Uh, I'm sorry, t twitter jizing? Yeah, twitter apologizing, it's kind of my thing. Ah. <laughs> uh, so Jessica has already said she doesn't accept your apology. Do you think tweeting one is going to make any difference? Of course, Dan. I mean, everyone will see me do it, and once the world sees me apologize, they all come back around. Because I'm waiting on the world to change. I don't think that's uh, don't think that's how it works. Uh, yeah, it does, Dan. How many people follow you on Twitter? Point taken. Uh, so now Jessica was pretty hurt that you called her sexual napalm, I think is the term you used, mm -hmm. and compared her to crack cocaine. Yeah, yeah. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Sometimes twice. But listen, Dan, those are the highest marks I've ever given a girlfriend. You should have heard what I said about sleeping with Jennifer Love Hewitt. And how did you describe sex with her? It's like huffing glue. I mean, it's like chesticle tiger bomb. <laughs> okay, that, that doesn't make sense, John. You just basically rhymed sexual napalm with chesticle tiger bomb. Mm. What, uh, what are you doing now, John? I'm twitter jizzing the agents for that tiger bomb joke. <laughs> Waiting on the world to change for Asians. Ah, uh, good luck with that one. So. <laughs> How do you feel about hearing Jessica say that she hopes that you get your life back together? It hurt, you know, and, and I know I haven't been acting like myself lately. So what are you going to do to change? Well, I'm going to give up social networks and stop sharing every little detail about my life and the, to the world and stop talking to the others behind their back, you know? I'm just waiting on myself to change. <laughs> well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, that's uh, kind of what Miley Cyrus did, you know, giving up Twitter. 
John? Hmm? John, I, I thought you just said you were going to stay away from that. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I compared Miley Cyrus to tripping on Robitussin, and she's like a zestical Bible psalm. Oh, and my penis is still racist. <laughs> uh, okay, you're not going to stop the tweeting, are you? Waiting on the word. John Mayer, everyone. Thank you, John. Well, the Academy Awards are tomorrow night, and here to talk about the movies nominated for Best Picture is Acme News Entertainment correspondent and former Las Vegas lounge singer Lola LaRue. Lola, come on out. Lola LaRue, everyone. Hi, Lola. <laughs> yes, come on over here and have a seat. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the, uh, to the Acme News. Isn't this nice? I know, yeah. You got a little... Hello, my babies. <laughs> Camera's over there. Hello. Does look pretty? Oh, you got a little, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Lola, are you excited for the Oscars? Well, I'd be, I'd be more excited, Dan, if I could get rid of this vaginitis. <laughs> I tell you, I can't find my cream. We'll get someone on that. I can't find it. Probably we won't, actually. Uh, you know, let's talk about the nominated movies. Uh, do you have a favorite? I, I hear there was a movie called The Blind Side. Yes, there is. You, uh, you didn't see it? I, d I don't like the title. And you know why, Dan? Because um, I get blindsided all the time. And it's no fun. It's, it's like when I was 65 and I found out that Medicare didn't cover recreational drugs. It's like, boom! Blindside. Ah, uh, yeah. Blindside. I understand. Sorry to hear that. You, you know, it's okay, Dan. Thank you, but it's okay because my dealer, he gives me an AARP discount. <laughs> it's all good. It's, it's, I mean, it is all good. All I things, highly yeah. recommend him. No pun intended. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, thanks for the referral. Uh, so, uh, moving on, do you see, did you see the Hurt Locker? Why do I have to go see it? I got my Hurt all locked up right here in this glass. It's, it's called Scotch. It, it, your pain is in here, you drink a little bit. It, no more pain. On the way. Hurt, yeah. hurt Locker, right here. <laughs> Uh, but actually, Lola, you know, the Hurt Locker is about a bunch of military guys defusing bombs. Pretty serious stuff. Well, you should send them my way, because seriously, I've had some explosions lately. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's sad. Isn't it's sad. Trying? It really, it, I've lost a lot of friends. Uh, okay, well, how about the long shot this year? Uh, did you see District 9? <laughs> Chan, I'm banned from District 9. <laughs> I don't know why, I can't remember, but it just can't be good. It just can't be. Uh, did you see Up? Oh, Up. I was too down to see Up. Mm. So I went and got some uppers. Of course you did. Uh, you know, Lola, you're our entertainment correspondent. Yes. And, um, yes, I am. Have you seen any of these movies? Well, I've been too busy entertaining correspondents down at the Frolic Room, if you know what I mean. I don't want to know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, surely you saw Avatar in 3D? I mean, everybody saw that, right? Dan, I live in 3D. It's called Mushrooms. Good for you. Uh, Lola LaRue, everyone. Hey, goodbye, Thanks for coming my out. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, watch your step there. Easy. Just talk amongst yourselves. She's going to head on back. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, folks, and now it's time for the Acme News style segment. This should be good. Please welcome our leisure and lifestyle correspondent, Randy Burnett. Hello, everybody! Oh, Hello. hi, Randy. Welcome back to the Acme News. Well, thank you. Always. Thank you. It's a special pleasure to see you, Dan Dan the Candy Cane Man. <laughs> yeah, don't call me that. Right? No. You are. You're just like a little sugar treat. I'd eat you up. I tell you what, look at him. He gets flustered, turns into a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> so, Randy, uh, that, your leg's touching mine. Um, what, uh, <laughs> so what are you reporting about tonight? Well, Dan, today we're going to do a segment I like to call Bad Tattoos. Ah, All right? excellent. All right. All right, the first one I, is called RAR. Look at RAR. RAR, it means I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> it means dumbass and tattoo. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Next up, we have Thong. Oh. What? 
That's what that's... happens when you're too fat to wear underwear. Oh. You know what? I'm telling you, that's fun. Uh, Next up is one I like to call Bad Elvis. That's the worst Elvis I have ever seen. Uh, actually, isn't that Robert Pattinson? I mean, did, did you see Twilight? <laughs> no, Dan, I'm an adult. Uh, Next one is I like to call What the Hell? Oh, What the Hell, yeah. People agree with us out in the audience. No, they do. <laughs> it's not that big lizard that freaks me out. It's the fact that his butt eats underwear. <laughs> Don't even wear them, right, Christian? <laughs> yeah, you're scared too. I like it. People ask me why I don't like women, they and do? here is why. Woo! Hello, uh. sexy. I love any woman that has stars on her nipples. That's a nice touch. Yeah, yeah that's get my attention. All right, last up is one I like to call free spirit. Who? Who wants to sit on Grandpa's lap? I don't. No, I, I do not. How about I'm my lap? Sit. Dan, no, you want to no, sit no. on my lap? No, there's not enough alcohol in the room. No, uh, I'll, I'll try harder, Dan. Uh, <laughs> Randy Burnett, everyone, thanks for coming out. Um, that's it. That's it for the Acme News. I'm Dan Kane, turning into a candy cane. Good night. German soldiers with the club. He bashes the brains in with a baseball bat, what he does. And Werner, I'm gonna ask you one last goddamn time. If you still respectfully refuse, I'm calling the bear Jew over. He's gonna take that big bat of his, and he's gonna beat your ass to death with it. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, Werner, we're all tickled to hear you say that. Quite frankly, watching Donnie beat Nazis to death is as close as we ever get to going to the movies. Donnie! Yeah? Got the German here wants to dock the country. Oblige him. Chicago Bulls fan? Ring, ring. Hello? Oh, Andy's observation skills? Oh, you are sharp, yeah. The Bulls jersey did give it away. No way. <laughs> what, what was that? It was like a, a fake, fake phone. <laughs> ring, ring. Oh, it's your observation skills again. No, I think you hit redial. <coughs> Yeah, it's okay. All right, see you later. Okay. 
Okay, sorry. So those uh, Winter Olympics were pretty pretty awesome, yeah. Lizzie Vaughn, uh, Apollo Ono, oh it's pretty good. It's good. Ring, ring. Yeah, hey, Andy's pathetic attempt at bonding? Oh no, you know what, can I call you back? I got someone here who's trying to make me feel better about banging my sister. Yeah, okay, say hi to the family. Okay, I get it. Ring, 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 ring. Are you gonna fucking answer that? No. Look, I get it, okay? You're being the protective brother, and I promise I'm not gonna break your sister's heart, okay? I'm in it for the long run, okay? So can we just quit this game? Ring, ring. Please don't do this. <laughs> oh, it's your stupid face. I'm not allowed to go to voicemail. You were saying? Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, and did you like red wine or white wine? Um, I prefer white. <laughs> ring, ring. Yeah, Blake's phone. Oh, and it's for you. It's your racist buddy, Hitler. Yeah, ring, ring. Hey, Blake, why does Hitler have your phone number? Uh, ring, ring, he doesn't have my phone number. He's looking for you. He's your friend. I don't know. Hey, ring, ring. Hey, Blake's maturity, anytime you want to show up is great. Ring, ring. Oh, Andy. <laughs> Andy's balls? I didn't know you existed. Yeah, ring, ring. Hey, balls, watch out. Blake's got a crush on you. <laughs> uh, ring, ring. Hey, Andy's balls, thanks for putting me on three-way. Colleen. Um, no, I don't have a crush on you. Don't listen to Andy. I like uh, vagina sex. Weird. You're having a three-way with my balls. No, I said <laughs> it's a three-way calling, not a menage. <laughs> ring, ring. Hey, nine, one, 900 gay stuff. Wait, Blake's card is maxed out? I am not surprised in the least. Okay, you called it a 900 number called you. Hey, ring, ring. Like uh, Blake's subconscious. You can stop thinking about my penis because there's no way I'm going to let you suck it. Okay. <laughs> uh, ring, ring. Why does Andy keep talking about gay stuff? Uh, uh, ring, ring. Hey, uh, it's your closet. It wants you to come out. Okay. <laughs> ring, ring. 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 Hey, guys. Somebody answer the goddamn phone. <laughs> Look, I think we got off on the wrong foot. So uh, why don't we just start over, OK? Ring, ring. Yeah, I'll accept the charges. And the apology from Andy's vagina. What's up, pussy? Are you crying? Your, your, your ring, ring. Hey, Blake, is this your first exposure to pussy? No. Oh, uh, ring, ring. No, I've gotten Blake. What? Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you hang up on me? Downsizing. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. It just, you know, we need someone who's a little more communicative, you know? What? Uh huh. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This job requires a, a you know, a direct approach. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe, maybe if you expressed yourself a little bit more, you know, don't hold back so much. All right. Okay. Look, I, look. I know this is a horrible time to be without a job, and, and I want to apologize. I, I just, you've been a, you've been a loyal secretary to me all these years. I just, I can imagine, there's a lot of things inside of you that are boiling up. You want to get them out. Okay. Okay. Well then, I guess I wish you all the luck. Okay. I mean, here's the thing. It just. The truth is, my boss wants me to hire his daughter. 
you know, but if you wanted to, maybe you could talk me out of it. Would, huh. Yeah. Maybe you could say something. Right. Maybe you could say something that was more than one word sentences. <laughs> oh, okay. Sir. <sighs> Look, actually, actually the truth is, I, I've just become a vegetarian, and uh, uh, I, I, the lack of protein is driving me crazy, you know? Okay. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> the truth is, uh, my parents got divorced when I was eight, and um, I thought aliens were to blame, and later in life I became a vegetarian last winter, and uh, I had an affair with the boss's wife. Oh. <laughs> Look, the truth is, you keep me so grounded. You're the only thing that I look forward to at this job. I come to work every day, and there you are. You, you're, you're just a bright angel. You're the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life, and, and you're the only thing that keeps me here. And I, I want to tell my boss, F you, because, you know, your daughter, I don't like her. I like Carly, and I want to keep her here because I love her. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, then I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell Mr. Henderson to go F himself. Good meeting. Good meeting. Okay. Friends, the Bible tells us that the Lord will not stand for killing. Even one of the Ten Commandments states, Thou shalt not kill. The only type of killing that Jesus allows is of weeds. Come on down to Reverend Dale's Garden Center and check out our lawn mowers, our weed whackers, and we even got the hoes. Not the sinning kind. We got the trimmers, we got the shovels, and we even got the pesticides. We're open six days a week, not Sunday sinners. Because if Jesus were alive today, he'd shop at Reverend Dale's Garden Center. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Two dollar Heineken, you kidding me? Thanks for inviting me, man. What? This is great. Hey, no problem. Absolutely. I told you it's a great place to blow off steam after work. Yeah, buddy. Man, uh, you gotta try one of these buffalo wings. Nah, I'm not really a big spicy food guy. Thanks, though. What? Uh, Come on, they're not that spicy. Well, you know, plus the wife's making me pot roast for dinner tonight, so I'm just gonna save some room. Thanks, though. Oh, pot roast, huh? Yeah. So you were never intending to eat with me? I just thought we were gonna get some drinks and that would be it, yeah. Oh, okay, okay I see. Uh, you're just teasing me then. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you mean? Oh, you know, you, you say you don't want to, but really, you do. Okay, um, this has been great. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, mm, I'm gonna take off, but I'm gonna see you tomorrow, buddy, okay? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ow, 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 hey, ow. You're not going anywhere. Ow. You're not going anywhere. Okay, all right. How that hurts my arm? You're gonna try. What are you doing? You're gonna try some of these wings. <laughs> I don't really want a wing. Shut please. up! Shut up! Shut your mouth! Shh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just. Uh, I. You kind of scared me a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Just let me go right now. I won't tell anyone about it at work. It'll just be our little. Look at that piece of meat. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks yeah. all right. Uh, uh, really not. What? No, good. What? No. What? Yeah. I thought we were having fun. Yeah, this is fun. It's just. All, all right, then let me just just eat one. All right, I, I just I just stick the tip in. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't really want any of it. I don't want the food. Come on. I thank you. Just put it in your mouth. It's not just my it thing. thing. It's not my thing. Come on. I just. Uh, I don't want. Stop oh. struggling. Get a hot glass of these. Come on. Come on. Oh. Almost. Almost. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 oh. suck that bone, oh. suck it, yeah, 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 chew, chew, oh, oh God. yeah, okay. oh, smile, 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 sm
Yeah. Say you like it. Say you like it. I like it. it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you do. I, yeah, you do. Yeah. Actually, I do like that. That's, what? that's pretty delicious. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh. Wow. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, you want some more, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, actually, I actually do want some more. That was, yeah. that was really good. That was really, really good. Wait, no. I, oh, way to take the fun out of it. Johnny Hawthorne, ladies and gentlemen.
Thornband. <laughs>